What's up outdoorsman Greg here and today I'm showing you how to build a DIY duck blind. Me and my brother have been duck hunting and what we found is we really needed a blind. So we wanted a cheap, easy to build solution that we could just throw together in the backyard and still trailer the boat ride with it down the river and still have the blind ready whenever we want it. So this is what we came up with and now we'll show you exactly how we built it. We're using a standard 14 foot aluminum john boat. Nothing special, just your average run of the mill john boat. This is some of the material that you're going to need. Some camo, some paint, some elbows or 90 degree angles. You're going to need some stainless steel hardware, some zip ties. We also used cotter pins, C-clamps, and some rubber gear ties to hold everything together. We also needed three quarter and half inch conduit as well as three quarter inch PVC. We started off with the boat with nothing to it. Next we added three quarter inch conduit with C clamps connected together. Next we added our side support pieces, one for the front and one for the rear. Finally we put in cotter pins at the joints exactly where we wanted it to stand up. The first thing we did was drill holes in our C-clamp so we could attach that to our bases. Next, we added holes into the side support pieces so we could have it exactly where we wanted it. We attached the C-clamps and the 3 quarter inch conduit to the gunnels of the boat to make a strong support. We chose the C-clamp method so we could take the blind on and off the boat. We measured our side pieces and cut them to length. Didn't even lose a finger. That's fun, huh? It's a good day. <laughs> We attached the side supports to the bases with the stainless steel screws and we added a washer in between to make sure we could raise them up and down and nothing ever got binded up. Here you can see a finished side support connected to the base. The side support runs the entire length of the boat. You slide the PVC over the long piece and it allows you to raise the camo cloth up and down easily. We found we needed to add some fiber fix to the joints to make sure they stayed strong. So Adjusting the levels was just trial and error, no real science here. Once we had the front support where we wanted it to go, we added the back support, and once everything was perfect, we dropped in the cotter pins. You guys need to tell some jokes or something. Hey, bring the wood over here, too. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a YouTuber. You don't have jokes? No, I'm not even funny. <laughs> So at this point in the construction, we're going to go ahead and punch a, uh, make a little dot so the drill bit doesn't, uh, I don't doesn't, know how to get the doesn't skip. And, uh, He's just a commentator. He's narrating it. We don't know who that is. <laughs> who is that guy? We attach the camo to the PVC with zip ties, and you can see just how easy it makes it to roll and unroll the camo. We use some paracord and a cam lock buckle in order to give the structure some extra support. This isn't necessary, but it may help. We used extra pieces of camo cloth to drape over the sides. There's probably a better way to do this, but it was a quick and dirty solution for our needs. As you can see, it looks pretty good once it's all set up. Here you can see the insides. There's plenty of room to move around and nothing gets in the way. The blind folds down for easy transport on and off the river, and it's a cinch to do. This duck blind was super easy to build. I put a complete build list in the comments below, so please check it out. Check out some of my other hunting and fishing videos, and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe to the channel.